We're all living our lives juggling work, family, and trying to squeeze in some fun. It's easy to forget about our health until something goes wrong, but when it comes to cancer, ignoring the issue won't make it disappear. In fact, it could make things worse. That's why I want to talk to you about cancer screening. Cancer is a complex disease that often develops silently, without any noticeable symptoms in its early stages. By the time we experience pain or discomfort, the disease might have already progressed, making treatment more challenging. This is particularly relevant for those over 30, as the risk of developing certain cancers increases with age. However, there's good news. We don't have to wait for cancer to show its face. Through regular cancer screenings, we can take a proactive approach to our health and potentially detect cancer early, even before symptoms appear. Think of it as a safety net, catching potential issues before they become major problems. Early detection is like catching a typo in an email before you hit send. A simple fix can prevent a bigger problem down the line. Similarly, finding and treating cancer in its early stages significantly increases the chances of successful treatment and survival. Statistics show that early stage cancer is often more treatable and less likely to spread to other parts of the body. This means less aggressive treatment, fewer side effects, and a faster return to a normal life. Remember, cancer doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or ethnicity. But by taking charge of our health and embracing cancer screenings, we can significantly reduce our risk and improve our chances of living long, healthy lives. The benefits of early detection aren't just anecdotal, they're backed by solid scientific evidence. Numerous studies have shown a strong correlation between early cancer detection and increased survival rates. For example, the five-year survival rate for breast cancer detected early is significantly higher than for breast cancer diagnosed at a later stage. According to the American Cancer Society, the five-year survival rate for localized breast cancer, meaning it hasn't spread beyond the breast, is around 99%. However, this rate drops to 28% when the cancer has metastasized or spread to distant parts of the body. Similar trends exist for other types of cancer, including colon, prostate, and skin cancer. These statistics highlight the tangible impact of early detection. It can be the difference between a manageable condition and a life-threatening disease. Behind these statistics are real people whose lives have been saved or significantly improved because their cancer was detected early. Imagine a mother of two who, thanks to a routine mammogram, discovered breast cancer at an early stage. She underwent successful treatment and is now cancer-free, able to continue creating memories with her family. Or consider a grandfather who, during a colonoscopy, had precancerous polyps removed. This simple procedure prevented the development of colon cancer, allowing him to enjoy his retirement years. These stories of hope and resilience are a testament to the power of early detection. By sharing these stories, we aim to inspire and empower you to take control of your health. Cancer screening may not be the most exciting topic, but it's a conversation worth having. A conversation that could potentially save your life or the life of someone you love. Ultimately, the decision to get screened for cancer is a personal one. However, we encourage you to arm yourself with knowledge, talk to your doctor, and make informed choices about your health. Remember, you are your own best advocate. In the next section, we'll delve into the different types of cancer screenings available, who should get them, and at what age. We'll break down the information in a clear and concise way, making it easier for you to understand your options and make the best decisions for your well-being. Remember, Knowledge is power, and taking charge of your health is one of the most important investments you can make. Let's demystify cancer screenings. What are they exactly? They're simple tests, often non-invasive, designed to detect cancer early, before symptoms appear. Think of them like routine maintenance for your car. You get an oil change to prevent bigger engine problems down the road. There are different types of screenings, each tailored to a specific type of cancer. Some common ones include mammograms for breast cancer, colonoscopies for colon cancer, and pap tests for cervical cancer. These screenings look for abnormal cells or growths that could indicate cancer or precancerous changes. 
The beauty of screenings is that they can detect cancer in its earliest stages, when treatment is most effective. It's like spotting a small crack in a bridge. Addressing it early prevents a catastrophic collapse later on. Let's discuss some common cancer screenings you should know about. First up, mammograms. These x-rays of the breast are crucial for detecting breast cancer early. For women at average risk, regular mammograms are recommended starting at age 40 or 50, depending on your doctor's recommendation and your personal preference. Next, we have colonoscopies, a screening test for colon cancer. It involves using a thin, flexible tube with a camera to examine the lining of the colon. Don't let the thought of it deter you. It's a relatively painless procedure, often done under sedation and can be life-saving. For cervical cancer, we have the PAP test, where cells are collected from the cervix to check for abnormalities. This simple test has been instrumental in reducing cervical cancer deaths. Additionally, there's the HPV test, which detects the presence of the human papilloma virus, a common cause of cervical cancer. When it comes to cancer screenings, age is a significant factor. As we get older, our risk for certain cancers increases. That's why doctors recommend specific screening schedules based on age. However, age isn't the only factor. Family history, lifestyle choices, and overall health also play a role. If you have a family history of cancer, such as breast cancer or colon cancer, talk to your doctor. They may recommend starting screenings earlier or getting screened more frequently. Similarly, lifestyle factors like smoking, alcohol consumption, and exposure to UV radiation can increase your cancer risk. Remember, this information is not a substitute for personalized medical advice. Your doctor is your best resource for determining the right screening schedule for you. They'll consider your age, medical history, family history, and lifestyle to create a personalized screening plan. Don't hesitate to ask questions and discuss any concerns you may have. Open communication with your doctor is vital for making informed decisions about your health. In the next section, we'll shift gears and explore preventative measures you can take to reduce your cancer risk. So far, we've talked about the importance of early detection through screenings. Now, let's empower ourselves with another powerful tool in the fight against cancer lifestyle choices. You might be surprised to learn that simple changes in your daily life can significantly reduce your risk of developing cancer. Think of it like this. Just as a healthy immune system helps fight off infections, a healthy lifestyle strengthens your body's natural defenses against cancer. It's about making choices that support your overall well-being and reduce your exposure to cancer-causing factors. These lifestyle modifications aren't about deprivation or drastic overhauls. They're about making sustainable changes that you can incorporate into your daily routine. Small steps taken consistently over time can have a profound impact on your long-term health. Let's talk about everyone's favorite subject, food. What we eat plays a crucial role in our overall health and, yes, even in our fight against cancer. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains provides our bodies with essential nutrients, antioxidants, and fiber, all of which help protect against cancer. Think of your plate as a rainbow. Fill it with a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables. Each color represents different vitamins and antioxidants that work synergistically to keep your cells healthy and strong. Limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and red meat, which have been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers. Instead, opt for lean protein sources like fish, chicken, beans, and lentils. Remember, healthy eating doesn't have to be boring. Section three, get moving. Exercise your way to a healthier life. Now let's get physical. Regular physical activity is another cornerstone of a cancer-protective lifestyle. Exercise doesn't have to mean grueling workouts at the gym. Find activities you enjoy, whether it's brisk walking, dancing, gardening, or swimming. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. 
Exercise offers a plethora of benefits, from boosting your mood and improving sleep to strengthening your immune system and reducing inflammation, all of which contribute to a lower cancer risk. And here's a bonus exercise can be a fun social activity. Grab a friend, join a dance class, or explore a new hiking trail. Making exercise a social activity not only benefits your physical health, but also enhances your mental and emotional well-being. Section 4. Don't wait, act now. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the importance of early detection through screenings to the power of lifestyle choices in reducing cancer risk. But knowledge without action is like a car without an engine. It won't get you very far. The time to take charge of your health is now. Don't wait for warning signs or a cancer diagnosis to spur you into action. Embrace prevention as a way of life, a gift you give yourself and your loved ones. Talk to your doctor about the right screening schedule for you, and start incorporating those healthy habits we discussed into your daily routine. Remember, small changes made consistently over time can lead to significant improvements in your health and well-being. Section 1. Knowledge is power. Your health journey starts now. We've reached the end of our journey together exploring the world of cancer screening and prevention. It might seem like a lot to process but remember, knowledge is power. By understanding cancer risks and embracing preventative measures, you're already one step ahead in safeguarding your health. Think back to the beginning of our conversation. We talked about cancer often developing silently, masking its presence until it's further along. But we also learned that early detection is our greatest ally, increasing the chances of successful treatment and a brighter future. It all starts with you. Take a moment to reflect on the information we've covered. Consider your own health history, your family's medical background, and your current lifestyle choices. This self-awareness is the first step towards making informed decisions about your health. Section 2. Prevention and Early Detection A powerful duo. Remember, prevention and early detection are not mutually exclusive. They work hand-in-hand -hand to protect you from cancer. By adopting a healthy lifestyle, you're actively reducing your risk of developing cancer in the first place. And through regular screenings, you're giving yourself the best chance of catching cancer early, when treatment is most effective. Think of it as a two-pronged approach to safeguarding your well-being, a powerful duo working tirelessly to keep you healthy. Don't underestimate the power of these proactive steps. They empower you to take control of your health, becoming an active participant in your well-being, rather than a passive bystander. Section 3. Take charge of your health, your future self will thank you. As we conclude our conversation, I want to leave you with a sense of hope and empowerment. Cancer is a complex disease, but it doesn't have to be a destiny. By embracing prevention, prioritizing screenings and seeking timely medical advice, you're taking significant strides towards a healthier future. Remember, you are your own best advocate. Don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor, ask questions and express any concerns you may have. They are your partners in health, guiding you towards the best possible outcomes. And lastly, be kind to yourself. Building healthy habits takes time and effort. Celebrate your successes, be patient with yourself during setbacks, and remember that every step you take towards a healthier lifestyle is a step in the right direction.